Ah, uh, solo queuing. Either the best thing that's ever happened to you or the worst thing that's ever happened to you. You're either going on like a 10 game win streak with a high KD or going on like a lose streak with a low KD. Well, in this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on solo queuing so you can improve your win percentage. Let's get into it. All right. So getting into it, the first tip I would give you is just don't solo queue in general. I'm going to make this quick because most people don't want to hear this, but I've made a video on how to find teammates. So if you really want to win more then you have to find teammates. And like I said, I made a video all about how to find teammates. So so watch that if you're interested. But moving on, the first real way to improve at solo queue and just in general how to improve is to warm up. I made a video on how to warm up on console, but if you're on PC, then it's still going to work. And in that video, I talked about different ways to warm up. So if you want to know how to warm up, then watch that video. But just in general, if you want to play better, then you have to warm up. And the next thing, I want to talk about is your mindset. This might not seem important and for some people it might not be, but for me mindset is everything. It is the most important thing in this video for me. And what I mean by your mindset is mainly the way you think about your teammates. If your team is bad, then what can you do about it? Pretty much nothing. So just don't think about it. Don't rage, don't make excuses. And once again, I made a video on how to have a better mindset. So if you're playing bad and you don't really know why, then it's probably your mindset. So check that video out if you know you want to learn how to have a better mindset. I talk about a lot of different things in that video. All right, now that we got through the stuff that isn't in game, let's get into what you can do to improve in game. The first thing is to choose the right ops. Now, this doesn't just mean choose good solo queue ops. It also means to choose good ops around what your teammates choose. Like if your team doesn't choose any wall denial like Bandit, Kade, or Mew, then go ahead and choose one of them. Or if all of the needed roles are filled, then go for a strat based off of your teammates. If you see your teammate going for an Azami strat, then you could run Wamai to protect them or run mute to stop floor edge drones or gathering intel, whatever. Just try to play around your team with your operator selection. And so this next tip is more about attack and it's either play with your team or go off into a solo play. You gotta pretty much choose one. Now, if you're more of a fragger or just better solo, then try to go for some rushes or solo push plays to try to get some kills because solo queue does come down to kills a lot of the time. So being able to do a solo push, you don't necessarily need to be pushing straight into sight, but just being by your yourself and opening up a certain wall or whatever or doing whatever you need to do to try to go off on your own and kind of get some kills or flank by behind and do whatever and if you're less of a fragger and more of a support type player then play with your team if they're going for the wall bring osa or something like that to help them and just figure out if you want to make a solo play or go with your team like i said and for the next tip is going to be using your information or just gathering information in general and this one kind of plays into operator selection but what i mean by using information is to run ops like valk or zero so you can take in as much info so you can make better plays information is probably the most important thing gameplay wise when and solo queuing so if you gather a lot of info then use your brain to make plays and really think about what you want to do next you're going to be a lot more successful and thinking about what to do comes from the information that you gathered so use your drones use ops that are for information if that's what you think you should zero is probably the best attacker for solo queue in my opinion he has hard breaches so you can open up walls for yourself he has a really good gun 1.5 2x whatever you want to use going six secondary so that is a great operator to run i'm probably going to be making a video about solo queue operators just which ones are the best ones be on the lookout for that but it might take some time i might make it next season i don't know but Let's just get on to the next point. After you've taken in all the other things I've been talking about in this video, you have to learn how to adjust to the enemy's playstyle. The enemy team just fully pushes into sight. They're really fast to attack the site right outside of sight. The next round, if you lose that round, or even if you don't lose a round, just bring different operators or bring different strats, whatever you need to do to stop them from doing what they're trying to do before. So if they're pushing in a site like that, bring trap ops or try to spawn peek them really quickly to try to bring their, you know, man count down so it's harder for them to push in a site that quick do things like that or if they're slowly taking the wall and you didn't have wall denial then you can run the wall denial you know you get what i mean basically just adjust to how the other team is playing all right that's the end of the video if you enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe but no like actually leave a like and subscribe at least doesn't take a lot of time and it's free so why not do it i post videos like this all the time but yeah peace bye bye yeah